Hello comrades, it's me, the longest Furby, and welcome back to Odd Realm. And it is time for celebration because Acorn is back. And I think I'm 82 years old by now, so. <laughs> this is true. Acorn is back probably just to watch his in-game self die because his in-game self is 82 years old. Um, and yeah, it's been a while since uh, I last played this game because I recorded a bunch in a row and then I was like, oh, I'm going to record the next ones when I get Acorn. So now I'm like, what were we even doing? And um, yeah, I think one of the things that we were doing is filling this in here to get uh, room for... Ooh, squeak and have appeared. To get room for thing, for a animal place. Animal farm. And it's, it's where you keep your squeaking. I don't think we can keep squeaking. They're birds. I mean, you can befriend birds, and just if you feed them a bit, they'll probably stay. Hmm. But yeah, so what I wanted to create is a little terracey bit here. So um, this will be like a little, a little like every. So there's a farm in the bottom, and then there's gonna be a little step here. And another mm -hmm. farm on the top, and then possibly another step here, and then another farm on top of that. I just figured that would look pretty cool. Or by like when we get to here, we might put like a castle of some sort, like a giant barracks yeah. plus living quarters. But I also thought here would be a cool place for something like that because it's kind of like you know it's overlooking the the approach to the ocean. Whoop 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 whoop. Um, you should build like an observation post or a lighthouse or something like that. Yeah, and I've been thinking that we could also put a lighthouse on here, on this ah, little yeah, island. Be a good place for it. I've actually been thinking of uh, buying some uh, grid paper notebook because I I don't own any because I'm not in school anymore. <laughs> but I figured for this they might actually be useful, so that I can do some planning while we're not recording. And we could have some really cool stuff. Like a, a spiral staircase lighthouse thing. Yeah. With like a campfire on top. Yeah. I think that would be pretty cool. They do, like, the light mechanics are really cool because I noticed the other day while it was night, I mean, you can even notice it now, that the light from this building over here it does reach into the water so if you just look at the water here there's still some light being shed which i think mm -hmm. is pretty cool yeah and there's torches here too oh what's that is that being picked there's carrots there i don't know if we should pick everything because the other day i noticed that some food is rotting on the ground um i, I guess if you store it it might last longer this is true we are kind of out of storage. Uh, also, the campfire. <laughs> well, it's kind of important. Last time Acorn was here, I was like, eh, it's probably just a social thing. But it's the thing that lets us make purified water and coal. So mm. those two are kind of important. Um, but it also lets us make roasted carrots. And roasted potatoes. Delicious. Boiled wheat. Mm. Oh yeah, also we've started like some rice and stuff here. So that's exciting. I'm getting some like proper meals together now instead of just like having people pick watermelons and instantly <laughs> eating them because yeah. they're permanently hungry. <laughs> yeah. We've got um we've got a lot of wheat and then we've also got uh, rice and corn. We've got no acorns though, so we we'll ah, have to make right. do with corn. You have a lot of oak trees, so... This is true. I mean, technically we do have acorns because oak tree seeds. They're just called oak tree seeds and not acorns. Also, I'm wondering if you'll be able to like make like beer and wine. Oh, well, you can do that in Foundation. You can make both beer and wine. But I don't know if we can make it here. Kitchen? Talk to me. We can make a toasted Zan. Don't know who that is. 
I it's Zan, not just one of your <laughs> your peeps. <laughs> that would be fun. Also, you can auto job things. So this is a thing that I think you weren't here for. Uh, ooh, we can make apple cider. Ooh. Um. Yeah, yeah. So there's like, you, if you select an auto job, that's the gray numbers that you see on the side here. Mm -hmm. Um, and they'll just like always make as many as the auto job is. Like there's always there's always got to be as many as that. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Where's the cider? How does one make cider? Uh, you mash some apples and you let them stand and sometimes they get sour and sometimes they get good oh look distillery well why oh. don't you so yeah i mean yeah that that is how you make cider but why do they sometimes get sour and sometimes get good what are you doing with your apples i, I don't know like I, I guess nowadays you just add yeast from a packet but I guess originally you would have like yeast from the air and sometimes I guess you get like yeast and sometimes you just get bacteria. Yeah. Th this We've is always had good cider. Ooh. But then uh, again... Y y you still get shocked by the saving? <laughs> yes, I do. It's spooky every time. <laughs> it's spooky. Um, but yeah, I guess, like, my mother is the queen of apples, so I guess it does make sense that, like, we, we always get good cider and good apple cider vinegar. Mmm. Which is basically just sour cider. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but it's one of the most annoying things, but not for me, but for my mother, who, um, is, as mentioned, queen of apples. Like, people will come and they'll be like, we need sour apples because we want to make vinegar out of them. And she's like, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sour in the apple that makes it vinegary. Have you guys filled this? Come on, guys. You've got, you've got to do this faster. Also, um, uh, apparently this deconstruct thing is a crowbar. Huh. I still it, don't know if it is. Like, maybe if we increase the UI size, we could check. I think then the pixels will just be bigger, yeah. Yeah. Like, it doesn't actually give more pixels. But do you think this is a crowbar? I, I guess it's a crowbar. I don't know, like... It, probably, because what else would it be? This is true. I mean, I guess for, um... For like a more fantasy type game i would always expect a hammer to be the demolish thing not really a crowbar but like a magic wand a magic wand they just point it and it deacon also why are you storing the food on the roof i'm not storing the food on the roof i don't know why they put it there it's so weird uh, uh, uh. let me check is there a zone of storage there is no zone of storage in there there's a zone of storage. Why is there a zone of food storage there? Look at that. There's raw food hmm. on the floor. Why would you do that? Um, give me... If we're kind of out of boxes. That's the problem. I mean, I guess we could use this, this, this for... Oh, we do have cooked food. Clay pot. Let's put some, some food in this clay pot. Look, it's getting all nice and stuff. Ah, oh, so much space for activities and keeping birds. Don't think we can keep birds. Well, definitely not with that attitude. <laughs> Why is nothing being built again? Look at everybody with their hands, just working with their hands. Ah, uh, Sadie, 109 now. Pretty sure me and Sadie are just immortal. Yeah, you guys are just like... Let's just live in forever. Let me see what else we've got. What kind of equipment we've got. Oh, you can you can make equipment, by the way. Like, I mean, you, we, we can make equipment now. <laughs> we've learned how to make it. 
Um, um, I could make armor. Have I made? Do we, do we need armor? We've been attacked. Somebody actually died because we were attacked by bandits, which was traumatic for everybody. Also, does food last longer if it's cooked? Because that's kind of like in games. Usually, that's the case. Mm -hmm. Food will last longer if it's cooked. In real life, that's not necessarily the case. <laughs> I think like in, in Rise to Ruins, it's like that, like food will become more nutritious if cooked, but it won't necessarily last longer, mm. but you can make cook food into like um, a ration that will like last basically forever. Ah, also what I noticed earlier was we can make a distillery. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's a good plan. That is a good plan. I think we're going to make it right here. Under the farm. I feel like that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Next to... I mean, technically I think this kitchen is going to be gone because I've been thinking of putting the kitchen in the tavern. Because that kind of makes sense to me. Um, yeah, I think that would be good. But then... Uh, but yeah, the distillery being kind of close to the tavern makes sense as well. <laughs> Maybe we could make the distillery over in... Uh, over here? Somewhere? Like that? Maybe? Or like this. Like in b in between them? No, just like demolishing these. Because I've oh, decided no. already that like um, at least some of these. What are these? One of them is. Uh, this is what this is the carpenter's workshop. Yeah, I I I've just decided these are too small. <laughs> they don't look nice. Um, so I'm gonna be moving them a bit, moving and removing. And I think I'm gonna make the well room not be, like, enclosed. I think the well room is just gonna be, like, a well in the center here. Maybe in yeah. this, this little... Maybe this one. This one? I can't just select one thing. So Acorn <laughs> can't see the cursor, so I'm trying to point by doing the lasso. Um, and yeah, I, th yeah. I think if you, like, just make it actually square, like a 5x5, five five, you can put it really nicely in the middle. Yeah, it's, or it's like kind uh, of like a central central well where people can hang out, like water cooler talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the rest of the thing can be like some of it is a well room and some of it is the fire pit room, where hmm. people can actually also hang out. It does say for the fire pit. Um, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> can you? <laughs> can we not have the fade to black every time we save? Um, yeah, it does say for the campfire that it uh, that it's a place of recreation. So that's kind of why I assumed it was a social thing. It, it also says that basic meals are prepared there. Yes, that's what I didn't notice last time because I was just looking at the green text. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then afterwards, I think right after you left, like the next video, it was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Okay, so I would like you guys to fill this in so that we can start building. Um, and I would like to... Where is the priority thing again? Soop doop 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 Where is it? Utilities. Priority. Priority? How do I priority up? Ah! Do it. Do we still not have a door here? I like the music though. I love the music of this game. I mean, it's not it's a so very... relaxing. Yeah, it's not a very long soundtrack. Um, and it doesn't really have much of a transition between tracks. But I think it's really great. And I hope we get more tracks as the game gets developed. Because whoever's making them is making them really nice. So what are you growing on the farm at the moment? I see some wheat. I see some presumably square watermelons. Uh, yeah, I don't know why the watermelons are square. <laughs> 
Uh, but what we are growing currently is we've got blackberries, gooseberries, and elderberries here by the side, uh, here. Wow, that's um, so fancy. Oh wait, can I, um, can I have something so that I can point for you? <laughs> um, I guess if I just select something <laughs> that I could place uh, out. I'll, I'll, I'll just be like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we've got the, the berries. Then mm -hmm. this is the watermelon field. Uh, this is the carrots. This is the potatoes. This is the beetroots. Then we've got more potatoes. I don't know why I've got double potatoes. Then we've got uh, wheat. It was originally two things of wheat. Or it was gonna be two mm -hmm. things of wheat. And then I got like, uh, from the merchant, I was able to buy two seeds of rice and two seeds of corn. So this is our rice and corn starter so that we develop more seeds. So that we can have more corn. It's good that not everyone is hungry, so like if it get harvested, like won't be instantly gone. Yeah, and uh, it's also because these are designated as farms, they're now automatically harvesting it, so. Oh nice. It's yeah, it's also, pretty cool. Chickens. Chickens, have they appeared on the map? Yeah. I look <gasps> they're like around your farm even, I think. Look at them! I hope this one is just, like... It's got stuck. Stuck <laughs> here, yeah, so that I can actually make this animal pen. So let's pause the game and let's... How do I pause? It's not P. Space! <laughs> um, so what I was thinking, I guess an animal pen needs a pen, right? Let's check. Mm -hmm. Animal pen. It needs a food trough and a water trough. So, two troughs. And... Uh, I guess you need to like surround it by a fence. Yeah. So... Or, or just be really trusting in your animals. <laughs> so what I was thinking, um, where's the fence? Fen I think fence are props. Yeah. Wood spikes. We could just surround it in spikes. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this is, um, Oh, why is there a hole here? Oh, they haven't filled it in yet. So all of this is gonna be one level, so we can just, even if it's brown, we can just count it for that right now and we'll fill it in later. So do you wanna make multiple pens for different animals? So like have one for chickens and one for the birds? <laughs> that could work. I think that could be really nice. Let's see. Um, oh no, why did my thing freeze? Um, no, oh, shift makes it freeze, okay. So control is to make it a thing. Mm, yeah, so the question is, do we want the house? Oh, there's such a mess here, it's difficult for me to concentrate. Um, do we want the house to be like here? And then the, the pen goes this way? Or do we want it to be the other way around? I guess you can have the house here, and like you can have like a smaller pen like south for the chickens. Like if you get some larger animals later, you can have like a bigger pen to the north. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So wait, we've got so it's not existing right now, but what I want is to make a fancy stairwell situation here, in the middle. Um, and so it's basically just gonna be like a staircase that goes sort of spirally up the the three different terraces and over here um if the stairwell comes up here then i guess the house being okay let's let's think about this uh there could be a house something like this I don't want it to be a square shape, so maybe we can make it a little bit more irregular. Um, maybe like that. Mm -hmm. And then it could have a door here. No, wait. Oh, I have an idea. A door here. And... A door... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making it nice and big. Like that, maybe? Yeah. I like plenty of space still to the south for like a chicken pan. 
Or like yeah. a chicken coop. So if I do props, and then we can have a fence. Like... I mean, I guess we could fill this in as well. Uh, because one thing that I think is gonna happen is if it's not a continuous animal pen, it's gonna be two different animal pens and it's gonna be like not one person is gonna be able to work both. But if it's... Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, why I, that's... I originally wanted to make the farms like spread across the terrace like uh, I did it up here. Like this is a, our temporary extra mm -hmm. farms and I wanted to, to be something like this which would look really nice. But because the rooms designate per level it actually made it so that you can't have like one person working all these farms they have to be one continuous farm because they ass assign themselves to a room and yeah i guess they can't assign themselves to multiple rooms to work uh so i mean i guess uh, the... wh wh why don't we just start with a small pen for just the chickens, and then later if you get other animals, like, you can extend it. Like that? Yeah. Or do we want it to be like this? No, like, I think it doesn't make a lot of sense to have it, like, connect directly to the house. Like that. Mm hmm Sure, that works, I think. And... Um... Actually, we could probably make two room for two families in this house. I mean, the house itself is big enough to house two families, but we could just give it a second floor as well. And um, that way we could have multiple people working multiple farms around here because they would uh, actually have a place to live. Yeah. Maybe like... So don't forget to like food, food and water the like animal pack. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there is uh, doors. I think under doors we've got the, the wood gate. And then we have probably under props. I'm just going to write trough. Nope, it's not under props. Containers? Trough. It is under containers. I think for the chickens we're going to go with wood. Um, yeah, I, I have a feeling. That will be fine. Can we make a coop for the chickens? That's the question. Uh, you can probably, like, roof parts of it, right? That could work. But I wonder if it's needed. Like, I wonder if they, they need it or if they're just oh, chilling no, like, in there. I bet it's not needed, but... Maybe under props we'll find something that we can use that's cool. We we'll just give them a grave. We should build a graveyard because people have been dying and we haven't been burying them. They've just been like left. They're still in the same place they died. I think there's maybe they're they're gone. I don't know. <laughs> um we could probably add a little bit of a roof. I don't know. We'll just leave it like this for now and we'll see how the chickens like it. And again, I would like to put priority on high. And I know that it's kind of, it defeats the purpose if you set the priority of everything you're making to high. Um, actually, also, yeah. I st still can't get over that like three is higher. Well, I mean, yeah, three is higher than one, <laughs> but... <laughs> in most of these games, one tends to be highest priority. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Also, is it is a hatch... What's the difference between a hatch and a trapdoor? I, I guess a trapdoor, like... Can't you just open that, like, from a distance so, like, something falls through and a hatch would, like... I guess a hatch opens to the top and a trapdoor opens down? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. And I would 
like stairs here and I'm actually gonna make it like this because I think that's gonna make it look more like there's a stairwell that, that makes it work um cool and then also I would like some floors in here so let's put some wood planks on the floor put some wood planks everywhere oh nope not there um, wood plank wall please and I think that's good for now, right? Mm hmm And technically we could tell them to make dirt cobble here and then grass here. <laughs> Guess it's important to have grass inside of the pen so the chickens can eat the grass. I mean, technically I guess we're feeding them, but I would like them to have that. Yeah, it, it does look nicer. I think we're gonna have to expand this pen at some point. I don't like chickens being in such an enclosed space. I wonder if it's gonna be enough for them, actually. Fine. It's it's bigger than the house most people get. This is also true. This is true. But it's weird. We're getting better with that now. We're trying to make it not be like terrible conditions for people. Like right now, we're making this like beautiful house here for the farmers that are gonna live here. They're gonna have a bookcase. They're gonna have a bookcase right next to the staircase, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, sure, a bookcase next to the staircase, that works. Um, they can have a table. Was that a spinning wheel? There is a spinning wheel, yeah. Ah, that seems like a good item to have, like, in a farmer's house. This is true. <laughs> Just you a know, decorative like... spinning wheel. Yeah, I mean, like, they probably keep sheep or something. And uh, let's not forget the torches later. And I would like to also give them... Pitchforks. Cabinet. They go with the torches. <laughs> yes. Um... Maybe they can have a bronze chest. We don't have a Ooh, lot of bronze. That's so fancy. But yeah, I feel like it's it's really fancy. Problem is they're not actually storing anything in these. <laughs> they're just decorative. Oh, you know what? A clay pot. I feel like a clay pot works much better. Yeah, it can make kimchi and <laughs> cider. Um... You know what, I'll also actually give them a bin. Bin containers. Or a barrel. Yeah, a barrel, because you need the water for the chickens. It can be right here. Oh boy. I guess that's, um... No, I've changed my mind about this. Let's <laughs> let's put it the other way around. Barrel in the you. corner. And uh, what did it? What was it? A clay pot. Mm -hmm. Clay pot right here. Um. <laughs> Don't come for me! Don't come for me! Okay, I think that's good. Let's make it happen. Nope, that was P. That was the wrong key. Um, uh, also, I, I do demand that me and my presumably wife will be buried in a graveyard and not just, you know, made into a stew. I mean, good luck. Like, there's... like Zim. I don't know if there's any... <laughs> it's not Zim, it's Zan stew. <laughs> Um, I don't know if there's anywhere, if there's any room for a graveyard. I don't know where we're I gonna mean, put it. What What about on the island? Or like, islandy part? That part? Seems like a, yeah, like nice and solemn place. So rather than a lighthouse, you would have a little... Ah, uh, like you can have both. <laughs> a lighthouse and a graveyard. <laughs> Perfect combination. I mean, I guess that is true. That does work somehow. The lighthouse guides the dead. <laughs> well, to... hopefully it guides, like, the people on boats. But if it doesn't work, there is a graveyard. 
See, that's convenient. That is convenient. Exactly. That does that does make sense. Oh no, the fire on the lighthouse went out. Well, luckily we have this graveyard right next to it. <laughs> this handy dandy graveyard. Um, yeah, you know what? We're pro pro probably it's probably a good idea to make a graveyard soon. We could also make it underground. Like in the mountain. Ah, oh, that is pretty cool too. Like a burial mound. Or just under the the just over here. Just just under <laughs> under where the animals live. Or yeah, like or under an oak tree. So acorn can return to be an acorn. Oh but we we can make that like we can make your grave like next to like we can instead of having a gravestone we could just add a beautiful oak tree. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. These are good ideas. These are No chickens, don't leave. <laughs> don't leave they've me. Had, they, they've had enough. <laughs> oh no, they're 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 having what? a party on the roof. How are you actually gonna capture these chickens? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Jobs? Loot, cut, harvest, deconstruct, mine, Tame. fish, collect water, butcher. Can we butcher a chicken? We can't. There is no tame. We could hmm. loot the chickens. I guess we'll see what happens if the chickens are still around. Look at these squeakins. Look at them. They're so cute. Adorable. The chickens. Oh my god, yesterday while we were recording um, some um, Impy Roam, Yudai told me about these like tits in Hungary that eat the brains of bats. What? Yeah, there's just these like adorable tits, like these like, tiny birds. Are, are the bats alive? Or? Yeah, they're hibernating, right? So the bats oh, kind of awful. hibernate over the winter, so they're all like groggy and stuff. And the tits come into the cave and they're like, ooh, look at all these drugged up bats. And then they just burrow into their brains and they just eat their brains. Damn. And Tiny bats little are so tits. Cute. Yeah, it's like, it's it's terrible. It's terrible. They look all innocent, but they will eat your brains. Eat brains. <laughs> uh, also, I don't know. Like, are you still doing like the twenty-minute thing? Because I think we like went over big time. Again. We. Yep. Yeah. This is this is a problem. This is a problem. This does happen. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna put down torches because I I was like, let's not forget the torches! And then I forgot the torches. Um, I guess the chickens need some light, so I'll put a torch I think down. they would appreciate that. Although, I guess birds like it dark at night, because otherwise they like go crazy or whatever happens to birds if they don't get to sleep. Isn't that a thing for birds? I think so. Yeah, so maybe that torch uh, will kill the chickens. My bird knowledge does not extend very far, but I have a feeling that's about right. Sorry, chickens. You might have to go crazy. But yeah, yeah, we'll see the construction of our animal pen and figuring out of how animals work in the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, you could do all the stuff that you do when you've enjoyed a video and I'm also putting up some stuff on screen So if you're interested in some of the other videos I make it's all mostly management or building games like city builders and colony management type things so you can check all of that out on screen and uh, We will be seeing you uh, Next time Goodbye. Thanks for watching